So today's game illustrates the concept of working backwards to find a forced sequence and a forced play. So let's take a look. So we have two players, A and B, and they're both playing a game called First to 100 Wins. So here's how you play. A is going to call any number between 1 and 10 first. So in this case, A calls the number 7, then B is going to call a number after A, and the number that B calls has to be 1 through 10 higher than the number that A just called. So if A called 7, B could call any number from 8 and 17. In this case, B calls the number 12, and then the process repeats over and over again, A and B are just going to go back and forth with each person calling a number 1 through 10 higher than the number that was previously called. So this could be a possible sequence, 7, 12, 22, 23, 29, 34, so on and so forth. And here's the objective. Whoever calls 100 wins. So the question is, how does A win? How does A call the number 100? We could solve this by working backwards. So if we know that A wants to call the number 100 in the end, then A would have to call the number 89 previously. That would have had to have been A's previous number, 89. Because if A called 89 before, then B can only call numbers between 90 and 99 because each call is higher by any number from 1 through 10. So if A calls 89, then the number that B can call at most is 99. And if B does call 99, then A can just finish off the game by adding 1 and finishing with 100. So if we know A has to call 89, how does A call 89? Well, to get to 89, A can say the number 78. Because if A says 78, then B can say any number from 79 to at most the number 88. So if B does call the number 88, then A can say 89, and if B calls 99, then A can say 100. And we keep going. For A to say 78, A would have had to have said the number 67, because then at most, B can only say 77 to call 67. The previous number would have had to have been 56 because then at most B can call 66. So for A to call 56, the number before should be 45 because then at most B can call 55. To call 45, we need to call 34, 23, 12, and we're back to the start at 1. So we see how A can definitely win the game. So A can start off by saying 1. Whichever number B calls will be any number between 2 and 11. Then A can call 12. B can only call numbers from 13 to 22. A can call 23. A can call 34, 45, 56, 67, 78, 89, and finally, A can call 100. And there's absolutely no way for B to disrupt the series. And that is how A wins. And that is how A calls the number 100. So this next game uses the exact same concept. Let's do it. So now this time, 
you and your friend are playing a game called Pick It Up Last. There's a total of 30 matches, and you're gonna go first. You're gonna pick up anywhere between one and six matches. And then your friend is gonna go after you. They're also gonna pick up anywhere between one and six matches. And then you two are just gonna go back and forth with each other, with each picking up one through six matches each time. And the question is, how do you get to pick up that last match and win the game? So you're going first, and we want to know how you pick up the last match. And we're going to solve this by working backwards once again. So if we know that we need to pick up match number 30, well, what happens if we leave our friend seven matches? If we leave our friend seven matches, then they can only pick up at most six. So if there's seven matches left, let's say they pick up six, well then we can pick up that last one. So we would have to pick up match number 23 so that they can pick at most match number 29 and then we can pick up match number 30. Now to pick up match number 23, we would have to pick up match number 16 because then they can pick up anywhere between match number 17 and 22 and then we can pick up number 23 then they would only be able to pick up anywhere between match number 24 and 29 and then we can pick up number 30. Now to pick up match number 16 we would have to pick up match number 9 and to pick up match number 9 we would have had to have picked match number two. So the winning strategy is to take two matches at the start, then we can get this forced sequence and there's no way that our friend can possibly win.